Now we're going to talk about a typical program uh, in the amphitheater during the day. So what a typical day in the amphitheater would look like. Now, amphitheater games lasted all day long, and they would go on for multiple days. So, for example, uh, when the Colosseum was first opened, uh, the Emperor Titus threw 100 days of amphitheater games to commemorate that. So you could go to the amphitheater every day uh, for 100 days. But during these, people wouldn't necessarily stay for the entire day. People might show up for just part of the games. Maybe they particularly like a specific gladiator, so they might show up for his gladiator fight and then come back later for something else that they like. They might not stay uh, the entire day, but you could stay for the entire day. Especially the elite would kind of wander in and out, might not attend that often because, you know, they have other things to do. Um, they're running Rome as well. But many people would show up to these games, and it's pretty common that the amphitheater would be packed or close to full, even though it holds about one-tenth of the entire population of Rome at this time. So a typical day in the amphitheater would include beast hunts in the morning, so it's a specific type of gladiator fight where uh, the gladiators, or the bestiarii, as we'll see in a few minutes, are fighting animals rather than each other. Then they'd have maybe a couple of skilled gladiator battles in the late morning, maybe not the most elite of the gladiators, maybe just like some decent ones. Then they'd probably have the public executions at lunch. Uh, this was the part that turned a lot of people's stomachs, and a lot of elite writers say that they leave during this time because they don't like this. It's too bloody, it's too gory, uh, but supposedly it was a fan favorite with the lower class. And we don't have them telling us that because a lot of them couldn't write, but that's what the elite say. And then skilled gladiator matches in the afternoon what a lot of people's favorite thing kind of was, or at least one of them. And then maybe they'd have another beast fight to, just to end the day. All of these were very bloody and gruesome. But the Romans called this uh, bread and circuses, because not only would they entertain all the people that show up, but they would also feed them. Uh, so during the amphitheater games, they would be throwing things into the crowd, uh, food, food tokens, loaves of bread, also prizes, and even money. Uh, so people would show up to catch these things as well, uh, kind of like, you know, t-shirt cannon at a, at a football game or something, but, you know, they're shooting loaves of bread at you. Uh, so not only uh, would they be entertaining people, but they would also be feeding them. So this kind of tends to keep the people of Rome pretty sedate because, you know, you're not going to be revolting against your emperor when he's feeding you pretty much every day.